Oh, well. Hey, guys. Another video from my car. So welcome back. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and make sure you watch my Amazon webinar and my Shopify webinar on how to position yourself and your family in this e-commerce game. Because this is truly a game, for real. Like a money game. But I did a post on Instagram and said, fuck both of them. Fuck Trump, fuck Biden, fuck the whole administration, fuck all of them. So I got like a hundred comments, so I'll post the link below, but I'll, I'll, I have like a hundred comments of people saying, oh, you're an influencer, you shouldn't be telling people not to vote, oh, you should vote, um, oh, we need to get Trump out, I mean, people just saying all kind of shit. So here's my thoughts, let me do a video, all right, I'm the video queen, let me do a video. The last president that I voted for was Obama. That was the last president that I voted for. And quite frankly, the only reason I voted for Obama is because Obama looks like me. But the reality of it is Obama didn't even do anything for people that look like me. So that was a waste of vote. Now, everybody hate Trump. Nobody likes Trump. I don't like him either. I never even voted for him. <laughs> when I went to vote, I put my name there and checked off. So I don't like Trump. And quite frankly, I don't even give a damn about Trump. But what is the point of voting when the people or the people that are running is not even fit, right? See, when you vote for something, think about it. When you vote for a chairperson, right? Or if you vote for a PTA board or, you know, you're voting for, you know, someone to hold the funds. You're voting because they have your best interests at heart. Biden has not said one thing about the black people. Granted, Trump either, but he's already in. So Biden has not said anything. See, I'm glad I found Dr. Umar because Dr. Umar breaks this down so well. You have to buy the politicians. And black people, we don't buy nobody, right? We just, you know, think, oh, they should just do for us. But if we're not putting money behind politicians to represent us, we'll never have a representative. So we're not putting money behind Biden. So. What am I going to vote for Biden for? Just to, for the sake of voting? Just for the sake of voting Trump out? When Biden wants to lock up more black men? So the point of voting is to vote with substance. Not just vote for the sake of voting, right? Oh, because I just want to get Trump out and now we get Biden. And then what if Biden is worse? Then what people are going to say, oh, we should have kept Trump in. See, the thing is, in America, it's not for black people anyway, right? So it doesn't matter what we do. You can start your own business. You can have a job. Again, you're not going to get that far. So my thing is, <laughs> the government, the feds, they're already going to elect who they want to elect. On the news, they said that, uh, what did they say? They said Trump has 53% of the black vote voters already. So me voting is not going to make a difference whether Trump's get in or not, right? And our ancestors didn't die for us to continue to be stupid or us to continue to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. They died for us to have common sense, right? They died for us to think for ourselves, not just to be voting just for the sake of fucking voting. You know how much millennials don't vote? <laughs> you know how much millennials don't vote? Because they don't see the point. My grandmother believes in voting. My aunt, who's over like 60 and stuff, they believe in voting. But millennials, 
They don't believe in voting. Oh, my voice is heard. No, it's not. My voice ain't heard. <laughs> voting means nothing if you don't have money behind the vote. That's what I've learned over the years. Voting means jack diddly squat. If you're not putting money, if you can't put $1,000, $10,000, $100,000 behind a politician to say, do this and do that for us. If you can't do that, or if we can't do that, we're just voting for the sake of voting? We're just voting for the sake of voting? It's, it's stupid, right? Again, America is not for black people anyway. I mean, we have to make the best of it while we're here, but America is not for black people anyway. Yes, you know, uh, you know, black people were the first people on the planet and all this other history and stuff that they're saying. But now we're here. Too much racism. Too much of this. Too much of that. Trump is a clown. He done turned America into a goddamn circus. So... The mess that we're in is going to take maybe another decade or two to fix it. So Biden getting in ain't going to be no quick fix. Trump staying in ain't going to be a quick fix. So for me, I don't really even care. I didn't even vote for Trump to even get in. <laughs> so I don't even give a fuck if he's in. I don't give a fuck if he's out. <laughs> so my point of view on voting is if I'm not putting money behind a politician to tell this politician this is exactly what I want for my family or my people then your vote is null and void what you vote for free and you think that your free vote is going to get something or are we just doing it for the sake of our ancestors because they died for the vote but the vote means nothing so what's the fucking point in voting? Makes absolutely no sense to me. So you can leave your thoughts. You can leave your comments. I don't like Trump. I don't like Biden. So I'm not voting for either one, right? I'll go to the poll and put my name again and check my name. <laughs> That's what I did for this election when, when, when Trump got in. So what are we voting for? Are we voting for change? Because Biden is no different. Biden is no different. Trump, he's buying people's votes by deferring the taxes, by giving all these SBA loans and giving, you know, all this money for unemployment and all this other shit and all these um, uh, loans for black people and grants for black people. Trump is giving all of this to buy the vote. See, he understands that you need money. Black folks don't understand that you need money behind the vote. So if you're just voting for free and you think your free vote is gonna change some shit in America that's been going on for 450 years, you're highly miseducated. That's it. You're highly miseducated. You need to follow Dr. Umar. He breaks this thing down lovely. And you need to follow Claude Anderson. He break this thing down lovely called Powernomics. Get his book called Powernomics. How the structure of politics and government work with money. It doesn't work for free. Everybody going to the polls thinking, oh, my voice is going to be heard. And then what? Obama got in. What did he do for black people? I don't really see what he did for black people. I don't know what he did. My kids were still eating when Obama was in. My kids are still eating when Trump is in. My bills are still paid when Obama was in. My bills are still being paid when Trump's in. So I really don't see the difference, honestly, in voting. If you can make it make sense, like my boy Fred said, make it make sense. If you could make it make sense, then leave your comments, leave your thoughts. Because our ancestors died for us to have common sense. Not for us to just keep being stupid and doing the same bullshit over and over and over and over and over again, expecting different results. And that shit is called insanity. I'm not trying to go insane. And this is why I preach, start your own.
It doesn't matter if Trump's in. It doesn't matter if Biden's in. It doesn't matter if Obama's in. If you know how to create money from thin air, you will always have money, right? Then you're not worried about, oh, Trump's in, oh, this then, oh, get him in, oh, get him out. Listen, my family still eats. <laughs> you know, now unfortunate, over 60 million Americans are without a job. Well, they got, I think 10 million jobs came back. So let's say 50 million Americans are still without a job and they depending on the stimulus check. And, the, and here's the thing too. If you one of the 50 million Americans who lost their job, depending on the stimulus check, depending on your 401k, then it does matter to you who's in. Cause Trump is actually giving people more money. What is Biden gonna do? I didn't hear what he said he's gonna do. You know, all these old people don't need to be in politics. We need young people like myself. We need young people people new ideas new thoughts that's what we need so voting just for the sake of voting makes no sense to me voting just to say i'm voting for free because my ancestors died for me to vote makes absolutely no sense to me i don't like trump i don't like biden so i'm not voting for none of the motherfuckers I don't give a fuck about none of them. I'm not. I, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. So, leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. Let me know. <laughs> how you feel about the whole voting thing. About Biden. If you read some things about him, he don't give a fuck about black people. Just like Trump don't give a fuck about black people. So... We ain't got nobody in office. So get Trump out just to get Biden in, just for him to be not giving a fuck either. It makes no sense to me. He's not gonna make it better for black for black Americans. He's gonna make it better for white Americans, probably. But for black Americans, no. We're not putting money behind the politicians. We're not putting money behind them and saying this is what we need. We should elect Dr. Umar for president. We should elect Tamika Mallory for president. Fuck it. <laughs> Elect Cardi B for president. You know, maybe I'll vote for one of them. But Biden? Trump? No. <laughs> Let's vote for Kimberly Jones. Mike Kimberly Jones. She's a she's an activist. Let's vote for her. <laughs> I wouldn't even vote for Al Sharpton because I don't even see what the fuck he did for black people either. All he do is just talk. So, <laughs> you know, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Let me know. You know, my stance is fuck Biden, fuck Trump. They both are doing nothing for us. And we're not putting money behind them doing shit for us. So, what am I voting for? Just for the sake of voting? That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. But... You have your choice, you have your thoughts, you have your comments, you have, you know, your your way of thinking and living, and I have my way of thinking, uh, you know, and living too. So again, you know, if we depend on ourselves, we will always depend on ourselves. If we depend on outside forces, we're gonna always depend on outside forces. That's just the reality. If you depend on your job, you're gonna always depend upon a job. If you depend on self, then you will always have the luxury to depend upon yourself. It's just that simple, guys. Simple. So leave your thoughts, leave your comments, guys. I'll see you guys in class.